I'm confident, but not cocky. And if you're gonna be like this, don't expose yourself to actually not knowing what you're talking about. I gotta be honest, you know, in this whole Clay Trader Mel segment, I do have, I mean, some make me happier, some make me chuckle more than others, but this one, I'm not gonna call it my favorite, but it's such a good example of why you gotta be very careful. And I'm not necessarily saying any of you that watch this are out there seeking the wisdom of people in the YouTube comment section, but if you are, just be very aware that, you know, there's things that people say that are just wrong, but when you know what to look for, you know that, well, they are wrong. And this is what I meant by stating that, you know, I'm not cocky, but I am confident in myself and I'm confident in the world of the markets when, I mean, I know what I know. A lot of people are out there, they don't know what they don't know, and that can be a problem. So you're not quite sure, well, I don't know, is, is that person actually knowledgeable or aren't they? This person is not knowledgeable and they, they let kind of the, the cat out of the bag right away. Now, if, if most people probably aren't gonna catch, up, catch on to this, and if you're newer, then you're probably not, but this is also serve as kind of a, uh, not only is it just funny and ironic type of way, but it's a good little kind of, you know, real life quiz, if you will, in terms of how is your full understanding of the market, or are you, you know, still suffering from, you know, the, well, you don't know what you don't know type situations. So let me read through this in its entirety, and like I said, there's a little hint that there's something that is said that uh, immediately shifts the overall context of, okay, I get it, you're saying this, that, and the other, but you already said something that tells me that you're pretty new to the market. I totally forgot about this person's name. The irony gets even better. Truth Teller says, I am a troll on the internet most of the time, but it takes one to recognize one. The $250,000 capital is not an issue. The commission fee times eight is also not the problem in this video. The problem with this video is he is shorting a stock that is in an uptrend motion. The moving average on your screen is screaming to you not to short. It is like attaching a parachute to a missile as it takes off. Your statement saying overbought is true, but it is not enough to make short a shorting decision. The volume is also showing that selling is slowing down, meaning the stock has not finished this ascending motion. 2 million shares were bought and not even 1 million shares sold. You then go on about visiting your store links. I actually just noticed something else that this person says. It's like a bookend. They start saying something that reveals they actually are pretty new, and then they end saying something that reveals they're pretty new. Let's just start with the first thing. They go on to lecture me or whoever on just why my strategy doesn't work and the whole fact that I've, I've produced months and months of you know proof that it does work. Um, and no, I'm not just cherry picking. If you, if you follow the channel, you know I've shown plenty of losses too. But the point here being, I've already shown that the strategy actually does work, but we'll set that all aside. What do they say? Well, let's just set aside the fact that uh, the commission's times eight, meaning you're paying like $8 a trade or you know, you're paying higher commissions, but we'll, we'll just set all that aside. Which tells me this person doesn't know about direct access brokers. They don't know what a direct access broker is. If you're saying, I don't know, that's fine. I'm, I'm glad you're watching this video. You're gonna learn something here. Direct access brokers are not charging you $8 per trade. They're not charging you, let's just even say $4.95 per trade. They are, you know, in my case, I think I pay 0 .0035 cents per share. So in other words, for 1,000 shares, if I trade it, I'm getting charged $3.50. So to buy 1,000 shares and then sell 1,000 shares, that is just $7. And if you watch my trade videos, which this person's talking about, usually I'm doing 500 shares. So to buy and sell total, buy 500, sell 500, that's 1,000 shares total, meaning the entire cost of that trade is $3.50. Yet this person is proclaiming and has revealed, they're just assuming that I'm paying all these higher fees. I mean, they say eight, but point here being, higher fees than compared to what a direct access broker would be because, well, they clearly don't realize that I'm using a direct access broker. Lightspeed, which is what my live trade videos are, are direct access broker. So right off the get-go, they've revealed something, and I get it. When you don't know what you don't know, you're not gonna pick up on something like that. But for me, like I said, I'm not cocky, but I'm confident. 
I mean, I've been around long enough. I, I've interacted with enough, enough people, whether it's through the coaching I do or through just general customer service or through these YouTube comments like this in and of itself to know that, yeah, buddy, you just kind of, you showed me your cards that you, you're, you're relatively new. And then they, and this is what I just caught at the end, talking about, oh, there was two million shares sold, but only one million shares bought, or maybe it was vice versa. No, for every share sold, there is a buyer. That's another one of those things where you're like, okay, you, you clearly don't know how the market when you're saying, well, there's been five million shares sold, but only two million shares bought. No, for every buy, there's a sell. For every sell, there is a buy. That's what a market is, right? A buyer and a seller, and this person, clearly is, is a little misguided on how all that works. But even putting that aside, the whole idea that you don't know what a direct access broker is and that there are uh, you know, ways to reduce commission, yeah, you shouldn't really be out there lecturing people, which brings this full circle to be very careful who you're listening to. And like I said, I'm not saying that you as a viewer are out there saying, you know, I wanna learn about trading. Where's the source to learn about trading? Let me go to the YouTube comments section. I'm not saying that is a, you know, occurring. But the point here is being, you gotta be very, very careful because for somebody that doesn't know what they doesn't know, I could see them reading this and being like, okay, oh yeah, oh yeah. And all I can do is just shake my head and say, that's a shame that they're letting somebody that clearly has no idea what they're doing. Uh, that's not fair, I'm, I won't say no idea, but that is still relatively new to the market, you know, influence their decisions with things that aren't true. You know, that's just kind of a sad case and yeah, frustrating in some situations. And I guess that is also the point of this video. So just keep that in mind. Always question, are you sure that you should be listening to the person that you are? Because there is a lot of garbage like this out there and from people that are proclaiming themselves as truth tellers. Oh, the sweet irony. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.